Use promo code MATCASTER for 5% off your order at Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide if you use our promo code MATCASTER at checkout. Whether you're buying singles or sealed product, use our code to support the show and get a discount. Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and today is June the 1st, 2023, and before we jump into things here, as per usual, I wanted to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield affiliate link, as well as a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Now here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our looser section off here today with Flusterstorm from the original Commander set, down 6.08% from $35.68 to $33.51 for its market price, and its average price is $34. Next loser here is Karn Legacy Reforge, and this is the extended art version of this card from March the Machine, The Aftermath, and it's down 6.53% from $16.70 to $15.61 for its market price, and its average price is $16.71. Spellseeker from Battle Bond. This card is down 6.59% from $27.63 to $25.81 for its market price, and its average price is $30. Worldly Tutor, and this is the classic 6th edition version of this uncommon, down 7.17% from $17.86 to $16.58 for its market price, and its average price is $16.55. Jax Levert, which is also a Legends reserveless card, down 7.44% from $46.35 to $42.90 for its market price, and its average price is $45.42. Alish Norn Grand Cenobite from March the Machine Multiverse Legends. This card is down 8.47% from $16.77 to $15.35 for its market price, and its average price is $16.15. Our final loser here is Worm Coil Engine from Scars of Mirrodin. This card is down 9.06% from $14.46 to $13.15 for its market price, and its average price is $13.71. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with Atraxa Grand Unifier from Phyrexia All Will Be One. This card is up 10.79% from $17.33 to $19.20 for its market price, and its average price is $20.04. The pre release version of the card is sitting at $37.52 for its market price, its average price is $38.27. The promo pack version is sitting at $18.74 for its market price, and its average price is $20. The showcase version of the card sitting at $22 for its market price, and its average price is $25. And the step and complete foil version of the card is sitting at $61.68 for its market price, and its average price is $64.91. The oil slicked raise foil version of the card is sitting at $65.70 for its market price, and its average price is $70. And this card is being played a ton in the Pioneer format in five color fires of invention decks, in modern decks like Gorio Through the Breach, in vintage Oath of Druids, and even in reanimator decks in the Legacy format. Themberjad from the Secret Layer series. This card is up 10.85% from $26.17 to $29 for its market price, and its average price is $40.58. And you could have purchased this in the Secret Layer series, Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. The non foil version of the cards would set you back $40 but they're no longer in stock, and the foil versions were $50. But now they're both no longer available, so you're gonna have to buy the singles on the secondary market. Next up is Lurking Predators from Commander 2016. This card is up 12.70% from $8.90 to $10.03 for its market price, and its average price is $9.63. The Magic 2010 version of the card is sitting at $7.86 for its market price, and its average price is $8.70. The Jumpstart copy is sitting at $10.76 for its market price, and its average price is $9.83. And this card is being played a ton in the Commander format, and the Commander that utilizes this card the most is Cura Sovereign of the Deep, which is a new card we got in Aftermath. It also sees play in the Ur-Dragon and Chissas Sun's Avatar. 
The next winner on our list is Chandra's Ignition from Magic Origins. This card is up 12.78% from $7.98 to $9 for its market price, and its average price is $8.34. The pre-release copy is sitting at $16.10 for its market price, and its average price is $19.45. The Secret Lair Commander Heads I Win, Tails You Lose version of the card is sitting at $11.69 for its market price, and its average price is $10.70, and this card is being played a ton in the Commander format and decks like Obnixilus Captain Kingpin, which is a new card we got in the Aftermath, as well as Minsk and Boo, Timeless Heroes, and Itali Primal Conqueror. The next winner here is Urbask, and this is the showcase version of this card from March the Machine. It's up 13.92% from $12.14 to $13.83 for its market price, and its average price is $13.74. The pre-release copy is sitting at $27.90 for its average price, and the regular copy is sitting at $12.35 for its market price, and its average price is $13.55. And the commander that utilizes this card the most is Obnixilus Captive Kingpin from March the Machine The Aftermath. Awakening Sun's Avatar from Ixalan, this mythic is up 13.95% from $11.33 to $12.91 for its market price, and its average price is $13. The pre-release copy is currently sitting at $17.74 for its market price, and its average price is $16.94, and the commander that utilizes this card the most is also just as Sun's Avatar. Next winner here is Wedding Announcement from Innistrad Crimson Vow. This card is at 14.48% from $11.19 to $12.81 for its market price, and its average price is $12.24. The pre-release copy is sitting at $12.32 for its average price. The extended art version of the card from the Collector Boosters is sitting at $11.63 for its market price, and its average price is $12.29. The double feature version is sitting at $11.76 for its market price, and its average price is $12.63. This card is being played a ton in the Pioneer format in Mono White Humans decks, Zoria Spirits, Orzhov Humans, and it's even being played in the Commander format in decks like Kalaris the Guardian, Emissary, and Giada Font of Hope. Next up here is Metallic Mimic from Aether Revolt. This card is at 14.64% from $8.88 to $10.18 for its market price, and its average price is $9.56. The pre-release copy is sitting at $10.52 for its market price, and its average price is $13.77. The Secret Layer Series version of this card is sitting at $13.32 for its market price, and its average price is $13.82. And this card is being played a ton in the Commander format in decks like Siddhartha Jabari of Zalfur, however it's also being played in the Modern format in Project Malira decks. Next up here is Koma, Cosma Serpent, from Kaldheim. This mythic is up 17.42% from $8.44 to $9.91 for its market price, and its average price is $10. The pre-release copy is sitting at $14.49. And the promo pack version of this card is sitting at $8.97 for its market price, and its average price is $9.53. The showcase version of the card is sitting at $8.27 for its market price, and its average price is $9.12. And this card is being played a ton in the commander format in a new commander, Kiora Sovereign of the Deep, from March the Machine The Aftermath. However, it's also being played in the Pioneer format in 5-color Mizzet decks. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Shadow Morris Fairy Macabre up 7.70% from $25.86 to $27.85 for its foil market price, and its average price is $24.60. Balthor the Defiled from Judgment and Old Frame Foil up 7.87% from $89.60 to $96.65 for its foil market price, and its average price is $74.92. Tajuru Preserver from Rise of the Eldrazi, this card is up 9.12% from $13.27 to $14.48 for its foil market price, and its average price is $14.62. Welding Jar from Mirrodin, this foil is up 9.26% from $13.50 to $14.75 for its foil market price, and its average price is $13.24. Chameleon Colossus from Morning Tide, this foil is up 14.78% from $13.06 to $15 for its foil market price, and its average price is $14.35. Icing Death Frost Tyrant, and this is the ampersand promo from Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, up 17.24% from $30 to $35.16 for its foil market price, and its average price is $71.11. Tree Monkey from 9th edition, this foil is up 17.50% from $6.63 to $7.79 for its foil market price, and its average price is $14.52. 
chained to the rocks from Theros as foils up 20.20% from $6.98 to $8.39 for its foil market price, and its average price is $7.83. Our final foil winner is Assault Strobe from Scars Amir, and this foils up 34.35% from $9.49 to $12.75 for its foil market price, and its average price is $3.68. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so I can continue to grow on this platform. Obviously, the likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel, and I'm forever grateful for that. Also, let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite mover of the day, which cards be most surprised to see on the list, and which cards do you actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.